So what is sleep? Sleep is a state of mind that involves muscle relaxation, reduced interaction with surroundings, and minimal sensory activity. And what happens when we sleep? Well, when we sleep, we go through cycles of sleep, which last about 90 to 110 minutes. Each cycle has two different states of sleep and four stages of sleep. The two states of sleep are often classified as NREM, non-REM sleep, and REM sleep. REM means rapid eye movement. Non-REM sleep has three stages, and REM has only one stage of sleep. Non-REM stages are typically noted as N1 through N3. Stage N1 is a light sleep where you drift in and out of sleep and can be awakened easily. The eyes move slowly and muscle activity slows. During this stage, brain waves usually have an alpha wave appearance as shown on this chart. Stage N1 accounts for 5-10% to of sleep. In stage N2, sleepers become harder to awaken, muscular activity decreases even more, and conscious awareness disappears completely. Brain waves take on a theta wave pattern, with sleep spindles and K-complexes appearing on the brain wave chart. Sleep spindles are believed to be periods where the brain is trying to keep the sleeper in a tranquil state. Researchers believe that these spindles are associated with refreshment of our ability to learn. K-complexes are large waves and often occur after an environmental stimuli, such as the sound in the bedroom. 45-55% to 55 of sleep is in stage N2. In stage N3, slow brain waves, called delta waves, begin to appear. As this stage goes on, the brain produces almost exclusively delta waves. This is considered deep sleep, where there is no eye movement or muscle activity. People awakened from this stage do not adjust immediately. As this stage continues, it is made up almost entirely of delta waves, and it is believed that this stage is the most restful form of sleep. Stage N3 accounts for about 15 to 25 percent of sleep. In the REM stage, muscles become paralyzed, heart rate and breathing become more rapid and irregular, and the eyes jerk rapidly. Brain waves increase to a pattern that is similar to that of someone who is awake. 20 to 25 percent of sleep is spent in the REM stage. As stated earlier, a sleep cycle usually lasts 90 to 110 minutes, and then the sleeper cycles through the stages again, but the earlier sleep cycles have shorter REM sleeps and longer periods of deep sleep, whereas later in the night, REM periods lengthen and deep sleep decreases. So how much sleep do we need? The chart on your screen lists the sleep recommendations based on age. These are the recommendations from the National Sleep Foundation. As you can see, the sleep range for adults ranges from 7 to 9 hours. However, there are adults that can function on 6 hours, and there are some that need 10 hours. Women in the first 3 months of pregnancy often need several more hours than usual, and the amount needed increases if you have been deprived in previous days. Now let's take a look at some of the effects of lack of sleep. Lack of sleep has been linked to obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and poor immune function. It can also lead to car accidents, learning deficiency, lower sex drive, depression, decreased memory, ages your skin more, impaired judgment, and less productivity at work or school. Oversleeping can also be problematic. Research suggests oversleeping can lead to weight gain, headaches, depression, heart disease, and back pain. So what are the benefits of consistent quality sleep? Good quality sleep has been shown to improve memory, decrease stress, decrease anxiety, increase creativity, and increase athletic performance. During deep sleep, growth hormone is released, which stimulates tissue growth and muscle repair. There are many experts that believe getting enough high quality sleep is just as important to health and well-being as nutrition and exercise. How do we get good quality sleep? It's often hard to get a good night of sleep. Some things that have been shown to increase the quality of sleep include regular exercise, creating a good sleep environment, such as having a pleasant room temperature and maybe having a soothing sound with soft music or a fan running, avoiding caffeine, avoiding alcohol and sleeping pills, as they both can disrupt sleeping patterns, having a relaxed period prior to sleep with no stressful affairs, and not watching TV in bed, as it can increase alertness.